Hi, welcome back to UncoverFraud.com. My name is David Mohammed, and I am a forensic accountant and fraud investigation expert. What I want to talk to you today about is COVID fake vaccination cards that are making their way throughout North America. Now on the news, what I'm hearing is a lot of these fake cards are coming in from China. They're being stopped by the FBI. They're being sold. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to see how easy is it actually to get one of these cards. It took me only about two minutes to go to Craigslist and find five, six different uh, people selling vaccination cards. And it ranged anywhere from say $100 to $200. Now, I understand the issue of some people wanting to uh, not get vaccinated. However, many places are now saying that if you want access, you have to be able to demonstrate that you've been vaccinated. So the only way that if you haven't been vaccinated, you can get entrance into these places and doing it fraudulently is by buying one of these fake cards. Now, I don't believe it is controllable with these cards when you see them. They really are just flimsy cards that were made to suddenly stop them coming in from China or somebody just using going to a print shop and making their own locally. What I do see as a solution is there must be a federal system put in place that uses a QR code or a barcode that scans in the certificate and matches it to your ID, your identification directly, whether that's a driver's license, a health card, an ID card of some sort. These cards are easily copyable. When you think about the, the past, you know, polio uh, vaccine cards, tetanus vaccine cards that you used to have, the reason that you have these cards was so you could keep track of the dates that you had them and that you had the shots done so you, you would know if you needed them again, uh, you know, and you would use them as proof. However, right now, what they're being used for clearly is they're being used by people who are committing fraud and it is a federal offense now, from what I'm hearing and reading from the FBI and from the government is, if you're caught using a fake ID, a fake government document, you can get in trouble, but you likely are not going to jail. Now, the people who are selling them and profiting off them, they have the potential of going to jail. Now, I don't think that that is enough of a warning, enough of a, of, of, of a message being sent to say, hey, this can't be done. It is quite clear that this is a problem that is everywhere. If you wanna to go to concerts, if you wanna go into restaurants and you've gotta demonstrate that you had your vaccination, whether you did or did not, you can go and spend $100 and get a card of your own. Now, as simple as going to Craigslist and purchasing one, the other thing to keep in mind is when you are buying one of these fake vaccination cards, you're giving your information out to somebody out there in the dark web world, we'll call it. And by doing that, you put yourself at risk in terms of identity fraud, because now they've got information about you and you know there's probably profit to be made off that information as well. I don't think that's gonna stop everybody who wants fake ID. You know, when you think back to when you were a kid in university or maybe high school and you wanted to buy a fake ID, you know, it is so easy right now to go online and buy a fake ID from for driver's licenses where you're being guaranteed that the barcode or the scan code will work. And, and so easy to buy it that these cards, these cards are almost as if you could just go to any Kinko's, Office Depot, Staples, and get them made yourself. You don't even probably need to spend that $100. If you are posting online your COVID certificate showing that you've had your shots, my warning to you is you're sharing your information, you're putting yourself at risk for identity fraud. But let's just get down to the point blank message that I'm giving you. And that is, as a country, as North America, as the world, we cannot rely on pieces of paper to say that we have been vaccinated. If we want to make sure that vaccinations did occur, we need to have some form of central database that lets you check in with that database to get either a yes or a no. The person is 
vaccinated or they're not. Some people are actually laminating their vaccination cards and shrinking them so they fit in their wallets. And let me tell you, the vaccination cards that are made were made with extra lines in case you need a booster shot. So you are probably voiding that vaccination card for yourself anyways, because they're gonna have to write on it. Look, I wanna get this video out to you all as fast as I possibly can. And I'm gonna cut this, it's gonna be choppy, but hopefully the message is clear. And if you agree with me, which I hope you do, that something has to be done and changed in, in the world to make sure that there is a central database to check that this actually happened, share this video. Let others know what the problem is. Demand from your government that you want a change, that you want things done differently, that you are not accepting a piece of paper as validation for having a COVID vaccine. Look, again, I'm not the one to decide if you get vaccinated or not. That's not my place. You know, everyone has their own reasons why they do or why they don't. But if places such as concerts, cruise lines, restaurants are saying that they're only letting vaccinated people in, and the only way to get in if you're not vaccinated is by buying these fake cards, the only thing that can be done to stop it is to change the system in its entirety. And the only way that's going to be done is if you out there demand it and demand it by sharing this video, by letting your government know, and by talking to others about how ridiculous the system is that is currently in place. Again, my name is David Malamud, and I'm a forensic accountant and fraud investigation expert. To find out more about me and the services we offer, please visit uncoverfraud.com. I look forward to seeing you again. Don't forget to subscribe and like my video below. And hopefully you'll watch a couple more. Until next time, be safe, be well, and God bless.